Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome. Good evening. Uh, such a pleasure to be here. Let me uh, take a second here. Push this a little back and then take some time. Uh, very happy and um, honored to be here uh, in Austin, uh, my, uh, I guess, third or fourth home. <laughs> and uh, a very dear place in my heart. I'm always here. I never left, pretty much. I'm always around. Um, really, really happy for uh, several reasons. Um, the major one is to be able to play music again with an audience, which is always a, a great thing. So thank you so much. Uh, such a such a blast to see people and, and share music and you know receive the, the warmth from the audience is always a, a thing that your musicians need. Um, very happy to be playing this music in particular. Uh, I recorded this album in uh, late 2019 and was planned to release it the following year, but then you know that happened. <laughs> there we all know, uh, but we're getting out of it and it's great. Um, but then I finally got able to release this album early this year, but still hadn't played a note. And then finally this fall I got to, to do it and uh, have been on a, a run for the last couple, couple weeks. Last couple weeks I was in Colorado uh, with a, a totally different band, which was uh, very interesting. Now I'm coming back here with a totally different band, but you know, all great, all awesome musicians and great friends. And uh, I'd love to introduce uh, each one of them. Uh, on the bass uh, from Houston, Anthony McKinney. And uh, it's such a, uh, a honor and, and a blessing for me, and and kind of a you know crazy thing sometimes when I think about these two gentlemen over here, um, at my side, both of my sides, uh, I have been a, an admirer of both uh, for so many years since I was uh, starting to play music, and uh, it's kind of a surreal that they're here at my side playing this music. So I'm such so, so honored and, and and blessed and to have them sharing this music uh, with me and with you all, and. Uh, uh, this gentleman here on the drums, Kurt Covington. <laughs> I've been following this gentleman for many, many years, and uh, we played together uh, several times, but to have him, him playing my own music is, is such a blast, and, and a blast as well. <laughs> Both. Both. And uh, this gentleman here on my right, uh, I told him I have his vinyl, and so I was in my teenager years and have been following him and his career uh, for a long time. And uh, I was so lucky that he randomly called me out of the blue for five months ago. Hey man, you know, I'm here and a common friend uh, told me I should call you and then we became friends right away. I'm honored to have been sharing the stage. I have been honored already to be playing his own music uh, a few weeks ago and we're gonna continue doing that. And now to have him playing this music, it's, I, I have no words. Uh, on keyboards and piano, Hickey Pantoja. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Um, these two songs you heard are from the new album, Upright. And of course, I have the album here and all that. I'll talk about that later. Um, uh, we played a song called uh, After the Storm. That's the first one. And then we played a song called um, Give Me Five. That's the last one which is in five, <laughs> hence the name. Um, the next one is a song called Always Remember. Uh, it's a fairly new song, but it was done for the project with a Brazilian singer, wonderful singer, uh, Dani Gurgel from Brazil, and she asked me to compose a tune for her album at the time, so I did this one, and we got to go to Japan and tour and all that. I have never played this song with my own uh, band, and now I'm having the chance to be playing this music, and it's really fun, I'm having a blast to play it. So this is Always Remember.
Well, he put some, some more keyboard there. Um, this next song is uh, also from the album. Um, this is called For When You Arrive.
Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so um, before we play this song that I would love to, to share with you guys, um, this song is dedicated to a great musician um, in Brazil who just left us um, a couple of days ago. And uh, it was a great musician, great composer, great arranger. He's uh, from the same state as I am, Bahia. He was an amazing artist, and he, um, he left us really early. His name is Lecieres Leite, and he passed away a couple of days ago. And uh, this song is dedicated to him, a beautiful musician. He has wonderful, uh, wonderful work in Bahia and with uh, Brazilian and African rhythms and really, really uh, off the charts musician. Uh, this song is dedicated to him. And also, uh, it's just a chance to, uh, to really enjoy a little bit of a Brazilian jam thing, because you know, playing with this gentleman over here is, is such a blast. He's uh, one of the, the masters of the Brazilian piano. And I couldn't let that pass and not play a little bit of that uh, for you guys, because we play that with his own group. So now I brought this piece here to, uh, to play and jam um, to you all. Uh, this is from another master, another maestro, Antonio Carlos Jobim. And uh, this is called uh, O Morro Não Tem Vez. And uh, it's an arrangement from, from Rick Pantoja.
Que pantoja! Thank you. This is for Let It Eat Slate. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Since we are dedicating tunes, uh, this is not a moment that I have been playing uh, during this tour. That is very, very dear to me. Uh, a short story on that is. Um, I recorded this album in December 19, right, 2019, but around February of 2020. Um, I woke up one day and I was feeling kind of weird and feeling bad. And um, they were describing to my friends that I was feeling a void. And uh, I sat down on the piano and I composed uh, a piece for piano and I called it Void. And um, I recorded my little studio, I recorded the piano, then the guitar. And I posted. And then three days later, a big, big, big hero of mine uh, passed away. His name was Lyle Mays. Hey. Yes. The co-founder and, and co-composer and co-everything of the Pat Metheny group, right? And he was a big, big influence of myself. Still is. His music lives on. And uh, so he passed on February 10th. And uh, three days after I composed this song, and then on the, the day he passed, I composed another song called February 10th. And uh, I recorded both songs on the album. So it's on the upright album. I got to the album later, and I put them together. And uh, I would like to play them back to back to you, uh, Void, and February 10th. And uh, a little, little extra is that uh, I'm in the possession for a few years of uh, Lionel May's keyboard. It's on my house, it's a famous keyboard that he played and everything. Um, he left the sounds that he used and all those classic things. Uh, so I used this uh, sounds on, on the February 10th song. And I sampled the sounds, so he is gonna play the sounds also um, here for us. Um, so the first one is called Void, and the last, the last next one is, is called uh, February 10th. That's for, for Lion Maze.
Thank you, Lion Mace.
Thank you very much. Give it up for Gabriel Santiago. Oh my God. Masterful, masterful. And um, thank you all for tuning in online. Thank you for coming into the house. Please also give it up for Rike and Anthony and Kirk. We're an amazing band. Uh, we're here at Monk's Jazz. Thank you guys for coming out. It's a Friday night. It's a holiday weekend. Uh, it's really a treat to have a sold out room in here. And uh, my name's Colin. This is Monk's Jazz. And we're doing this about 12 or 15 nights a month. If you're tuning in online, uh, you can also see these live streams out there. But I just wanted to tell you guys about some upcoming shows. Tomorrow night, we have a drummer in town from New York City. He brought his pianist and bassist as well. They just played in San Antonio last night, but Brian Carter and his trio will be playing here tomorrow night. There's a show at 7.30 and 9.30 p.m., so I hope you guys can come back. And then that same trio will be backing up the Christian Wiggs Big Band. He's a vocalist here in town. There's gonna be four trumpets, four trombones, and five saxophones over here on this side of the room. Piano, bass, drums, guitar, all that stuff. Um, and then we're taking a few days off, but we're back with the Joseph Serrato Quintet. He's a local Austin saxophone player. But uh, I just wanted to say, if you're tuning in online, please subscribe to the channel. We just passed 2,000 subscribers after 17 months of streaming. And uh, we've got over like 230 shows just like this. Well, not as good as this. No. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I mean, a lot of them are really great, too. Uh, that's a bad thing to say as an uh, event promoter, <laughs> Jesus. Um, and uh, I'm not going to. Thank you. Thank you. Wise words. Um, there's a ton of shows here on YouTube archives. We've been building our cameras out and getting more microphones and doing all we can to try to embrace the live streaming thing. Uh, we were listening to them series for about four years up until the pandemic trying to stay as far away from live streaming and all those other things as possible, but uh, we're embracing that. And we also have this room in here with about 35 seats. And uh, you know, the most important thing you can do if you're tuning in online, please go to the Venmo and the PayPal down in the description. We do have a very small room in here. We're not a traditional bar, so there's no revenue from that. It's all supported by the people in this room and you guys tuning in online. So whatever you might pay for uh, as a cover, 10, 20 bucks, you know, uh, leave a tip, go to that PayPal, that Venmo, support this amazing band, and uh, please come check us out soon. Thank you, guys. Colin! Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you Colin. Um, all right, we're gonna play a song now, a very special one. Um, this song is called A Heart from the Palms. And, uh, uh, News flash, uh, I got engaged the other day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Colorado, I surprised my now fiance. Uh, I played this song I composed for her called Heart from the Palms. So she came to Colorado for the tour, and uh, we ended, and I just kind of went there in the middle of the song and, and, and did it. So we're going to play it again. She's in Florida. Love you, baby. So this is for you. A Heart from the Palms. Whatever.
Thank you. I do. You do? <laughs> Thank you. All right, now that the uh, dedications are all over, we're gonna go back to the upright album. And uh, this, song, this song is called uh, Jingle. And it's kind of a weird name, but um, when we were recording this in Brazil, uh, the drummer and producer, my friend, Thiago Rabelo, shout out to yeah. Thiago over there in Brazil. Uh, you, I played a demo of this thing Look, that's what we're gonna record. And then it's like, well, that sounds like a jingle, like an ad, like a jingle. It's like, come on, man. And he was like, you know, prepping the Pro Tools section and, and stuff, and he's like, yeah, we're gonna call this. And then he called it Jingle, like this J-I-N-G-O, Jingle, and that's the name of the tune. Jingle it is. Jingle it is. Not jungle, like jingle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not bingo. <laughs>
I come out on an interesting name, title thing. Uh, this song is called The Best Is Yet To Come. And uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I have this little sign under my speakers. It's a friend that gave it to me, sort of an optimistic thing that I look all the time, you know, the best is yet to come. And um, so when I was uh, sending out this music, lead sheet and stuff, so I could take a look at it. There was a typo and it spelled that the bat is yet to come. <laughs> so it was an interesting title as well. Hiki told him, I mean, you should keep it. You should keep this title. I, I like this title. Yeah. So here it is, the bat is yet to come, <laughs> AKA the best is yet to come.
Yes. Um, My brain's getting really tired. Yes. All right, we got one more for you uh, tonight. Well, I got tired. <laughs> Take a deep breath. I know, I know. I was like up on the mountains, you know, like I was like, oh, yeah. After this song in Denver, you know, I was like. <laughs> All right. A um, lot of things to say, a lot of people to say thank you, but. Um, First of all, you guys, thank you so much for being here and for <laughs> supporting the music. Great friends in the house, great patrons as well from my patrons, supporters, you know, these guys making it happen, supporting me. Thank you for every single one of you and every single one of you who came here. Uh, you got the album, yes, I got the new album uh, here, and I got CD, I got vinyl, and uh, a bunch of other CDs and DVDs and things like that. There's all kinds of bundles and things you can, can get there. I'll be there at the end so we can, uh, when I we, we cover my, my ear, uh, <laughs> I'll be talking. But uh, every, basically everything you buy uh, today, you have automatically get the digital version of it, automatically get your email and stuff. So if you get a CD or the vinyl or whatever other thing, DVDs, everything digital has also come to your mailbox. So. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for calling, for having this amazing place. And it's, it's growing, growing, growing. And we got to keep supporting this place, monks. So give it up to calling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, calling. It's a great place, and you should all support that. Um, and uh, I will not leave uh, the last song without introducing this gentleman over here. On the bass, Anthony McKinney. <laughs> On the drums, Mr. Kurt Covington. On the piano and keyboards, Hiki Pantoja. Myself, Gabriel Santiago. Thank you so much for every, for every one of you. Give it up, Gabriel Santiago. Thank you. One bad Thank you, a beautiful audience. We, we packed up the place and uh, hope to see you guys very soon. Uh, we'll be in Houston uh, tomorrow. Hello, Houston. We're going to play for you tomorrow at Cezanne. That's going to be the last show at Cezanne before they close. Uh, and then they're going to open up again in another place. But that's the last one. So if you haven't been there yet, you have a chance. That's, that's us playing there tomorrow. Um, this last song is the title of the album. It's called Upright. All right? So uh, here's Upright. And if I can breathe, I'll sing some lyrics. If I, if I can. Otherwise, I'll just go... Mm -hmm. You, you understand, right? All right. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> With you, it's impossible. <laughs> you're, you're so bummer, man. <laughs> I got to say, man, Gabriel Santiago, this dude is so bad. <laughs> we lost him to Houston, but that's okay. They're close enough. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. 